all right in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Kanaki all right this is a CD duplication and fulfillment um, website and what it is is man you can get you know DVDs and CDs fully you know duplicated shrink wrap high quality cover you know retail ready stuff all right as you can see the prices are very low uh, one to five units only a dollar six to ninety nine use a dollar seventy five a hundred and so on um, you can see there's no minimum and no maximum to buy and what's really cool is when somebody orders your product they'll um, duplicate it and ship it for you now if you're a new customer you need to come on this tab right here and click new customer and this is the quickest method I use method one where I actually download their software and that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you I'm down where I downloaded their software and we're gonna go through the process all right if if not um, go ahead and click there to get started as your new customer now they do have another option where you can mail them your um, CD or DVD um, but they recommend the quickest method is number one but if you prefer option to click there all right now where I already have the software we're gonna go on my and open it up go on my computer and open it up and there it is right there I use it all the time once I double click on it click run you gonna see this is very easy to do I love it is it walks you through step by step as you can see I'm in the software I wanna click next <clears throat> alright first thing it's gonna ask is what are you what's the product type so is the audio is it gonna be a CD is it gonna be a video um, a game or data or other alright this is gonna be a data disk okay um, do you want a barcode yes and this warning is just to let me know it's gonna be on my artwork alright the title um, <clears throat> this is for write your way out we're gonna do write your way out out now writers workshop shop. and this is the home study course Let me see. Home. no subtitle release date I'll keep that copyright message so basically what we're doing in this part right here you're just gonna fill in the blank just follow the steps just give it the information it asks for alright um, the author of this is Kelly Cole and Dr. Oliver T. Reed. All right, website is Cadillac number description of requirements. Let me see. So, all right, once we got all that filled out, go to the next step and choose what type of disc. All right, we're going to do a DVD with a DVD case and we're going to do a custom design. Click OK. 
now as you can see right here it's going to ask you um, for your disk your disk image so you do need to have that designed so I'm just going to go over here and find my image my pictures and okay no 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 let me go back I created a folder for write your way out one second write your way out alright there's the folder and as you can see there's my DVD label so I'm going to open it and what I like about this is it shows you what it looks like so just click this open the case and look how cool that looks and it's going to look that crisp and that clean when you get it also alright so um, now I want to go to my case cover as you can see it already created it right there alright now let's close the case that shows me how crisp and how clean my front looks and as you can see that looks beautiful alright let's rotate the case that's what our back looks like and alright I think that looks good too. Now that's what the side looks like. That's what the inside look like. Now one thing I forgot to create is this insert right here, which I'm going to pause the video and find something to put there. All right, and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, I'm just going to pause this for a second alright I'm back I found the image that I wanted to add so I'm just gonna go to where I found it at I didn't wanna waste your time with you see me looking for it but I know where it is now and I know which one I wanna use but this I recommend you know just being a advertisement or something like that um, that you wanna put in there what I'm gonna put in there is the flyer that um, the the generic poster that we made for for this event that we recorded um, as you can see that slides right in there so <clears throat> there it is so you can see let's rotate our case again there's our front there's the back it shows you what it looks like with the barcode um, how clean and crisp that is there's the side and there's the inside label insert and all okay once we got it and it and it looks good alright we want to go to next alright let's click next alright now it wants to it's asking us for our actual the actual product okay so click open Hold on one second. All right, I'm gonna pause one more time to get the actual product disc ready. And what it's doing mm -hmm. is the product disc is actually on my um, computer, and so mm -hmm. I just corrected the, I just selected the mm -hmm. driver source, and I opened it, and I'm gonna put it back in, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you what's gonna do. So give me one second. I'm gonna pause this one more time. All right, we back. Um, I got my information. That's what we had to go for. So just a quick recap. We rotate the box. Make sure everything looks good. And it does. Let's go to the next step. It's asking for my information. So I'm going to insert the disk. Once you insert the disk, it should take it from there. alright now it shows all of the files alright that's everything click the arrow goes next now it wants you to save your project alright alright I'm gonna save mine in, in documents alright save it as
full course all right I'm just saving it as write your way out full course save it once you click that save right there you hit next all right now it's going to compile the product and get it ready to um, upload to their system all right now while it does that we're at zero percent all it's doing is really saving it and ripping it from the disk and then it'll be ready to upload to their site so once it gets 100 percent I'll unpause this and we'll continue alright but you can see it's a step by step this is easy stuff alright we'll pause it okay we back as you can see it's 100 percent and it says your master product is complete and ready for your testing and upload to our facility alright and it shows me that it is saved there so the next step you do is um, launch your product So once you click launch your product it's going to ask you to um, log in alright here it is it shows me my product again if I wanted to um, I can print the disk in the case I can um, extract the contents can record the contents to a DVD which we already done all of this it just gives us a review I can rotate the case again make sure everything still looks good and then once I've done all that just click publish okay now it's gonna ask me for my login and stuff I am a pause well now I'll go ahead alright once I click this it's going to publish it now if you don't have an account you can set it up right there alright it's finna start the publishing process now it shows you the percentage is done alright now check out this note this is what's real cool about Kanaki now it's sending it to their facility getting it all ready printed up and ready to go and when it's done it'll tell me here and it's going to send me an email but this is the note I like this upload automatically resumes from disconnects errors even reboot it may take a long time to send your product to our facility to our facility but it will not fail and that's a promise I mean, I've went to sleep with this thing uploading and, you know, returned on my computer and it just resumed right where it left off. So from this point, you could just leave it. And when this is done, like I said, this will be at 100 percent. And you'll also get an email letting you know that your product is ready to order in their facility. But that's it. That's how easy it is to get your product on Kanaki. And then from Kanaki fulfillment to your customers and they got one blood one button click setup to put your product on Amazon now all right so this is Kelly Cole the generator I hope you enjoyed this tutorial